late late bloomer in gospel music as far as uh, uh, you know. Music. When you say late bloomer, I mean, what do you mean, like? We know a lot what of are you like twenty? Don't look twenty. Yes. Oh, I <laughs> well, I mean, I'm older than that, but I'm not gonna tell you. Yeah, most of them are starting at what three, four, five years right, old. Right, right. And you look so at you now, started at what twelve? So you said I was a late bloomer. Yeah, well, I was probably about 15, fourteen or fifteen when I started playing by ear. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people are like, oh, I've been playing since I was two. I played my first keyboard, but I was kind of late with that. So. Yeah, yeah. Now, of course, I sang in the kids' choir and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But um, as far as, uh, you know, uh, playing the piano and stuff like that, it was a little later. Mm-hmm. Um, so probably about 15, 14 or 15 or so, so mm-hmm. from then. So testimony, I went to Wright State University, mm-hmm. and uh, I was the uh, musical director for the gospel choir there. Uh, I didn't students. know they had a gospel choir. We do. We All do. right. Um, now there were uh, there was a choir on campus called the Paul Lawrence Dunbar Chorale, mm-hmm. but they were limited in what they could do as far as saying the name Jesus and singing, you know, certain songs that are. They know, weren't religious. a religious based choir. Correct, but they still sang uh-huh. generic type of gospel music. Okay. Okay. Um, so a lot of students came together and started our own gospel choir. Uh, it was called In His Presence Gospel Choir. And that was one of the things that really shaped me into, you know, being uh, an artist now. Um, so at one point at our height, we probably had 75 choir members. Mm. And, uh, you know, mm-hmm. we were, as far as Ohio is concerned, in the mid-2000s, we were it as far as college gospel choir. So we had a huge choir and full mm-hmm. cool musicians and stuff like that. So eventually I went on to take over as director. And uh, I ended up leaving, at, uh, leaving school at a certain time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm a graduate now, though. <laughs> but I left at that time. Yeah, yeah. Um, excuse me. So, okay. um, uh, in 2007, mm-hmm. I started Testimony. Um, and we've been around, this is our 11th year now. And we're really excited about that. And the Lord has blessed us to release two albums so far. Mm-hmm. And this Saturday, well, tomorrow, we're releasing our third. Saturday, we're celebrating that with, celebrating those 11 years uh, with the concert. And then also, the third anniversary, or third album release too. So we're really excited about that. So we, what are you doing tomorrow or Saturday or both? Well, the album releases tomorrow. Okay, okay. New Music Friday. So it's releasing tomorrow and we're mm-hmm. celebrating on Saturday <coughs> with, the, with the concert. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's awesome. Now where's that going to be? That concert is going to be at my home church, um, which we actually just moved into. Moving on. Uh, Gospel Tabernacle, you not only church in <coughs> 1205 Hill <coughs> Columbus, Ohio, 43203. At 6 p.m. At 6, at 6 o'clock, on, I'm, I turned the microphone off so I could cough. But <laughs> Lord, touch it right. It's, thank you. At 6 o'clock on Saturday. Give him the address again. That address is 1205 mm-hmm. Hildreth Avenue, mm-hmm. Columbus, Ohio. Okay. 43203. So For those who are going to uh, GPS it. Right. Okay. Really so, Okay, that sounds awesome. Well, we're going to talk more about the music and the new album in just a little bit. Let's play some of your old stuff. I like this one. It's called Keep On, Keep Moving On. (laughs) 